Education is a never-ending process of learning. And this morning, I have learned something new. Never, never speak after Brother Armin Lundstrom. <laughs> because you will fail in comparison with the kind of communication skill Brother Armin has. But I'm not going to because the first important quality of the teacher is to be able to communicate. And that was what Brother Armin demonstrated a while ago. Maraming maraming salamat at pabuhay po si Brother Armin Luis no? Atin ding patihin ang our friend and governor, our host governor of the province of the Occidental, Governor Freddy Marañon. Palakpakan po natin. Palakpakan natin. Sorry. Our uh, members of Congress, my colleagues in the 60th Congress, Congressman Albi Benitez and Congressman Ping Leonardia, Mayor Francis Palanca, Chito Subrepeña, and, uh, 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 and the other members of the National Law Coordinating Council, principals, teachers, guests, Ladies and gentlemen, maayong aga sa inyong atanan. Maayong aga. Maayong buntag ng inyong atanan. Maayong buntag. Maupay ng aga sa inyong atanan. Magandang umaga po sa lahat na guro ng ating bansa. Happy Teacher's Day. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin my address with a little story. You know, I am a naturally left-handed person. In the public school that I went to for my elementary education, the Baluarte Elementary School in my home city of We only had armchairs for right-handed students. Huh? Only for right-handed students. And since I was left-handed, I had such a difficult time writing my name, following the teacher in the blackboard. So what did the teachers do? My public school teacher influence me in order that I could write using my non-dominant writing. And until now, I write using my right hand while I use my left hand for almost everything else. Whether that is good or bad, I do not know. But this, along with the values and principles I adhere to, demonstrate how firmly my roots are planted on the grounds of the public school system. I hope, that my teacher in grade one was the one who influenced me and modified my personal life. Now I can use my right hand for writing and my left hand for everything else. I understand from Brother Polisto that today in all the public schools, the Department of Education provides for five chairs for the left handed teachers. And congratulations, Brother Armin. You know, your Senate President is a proud product of public schools. From grade one to law school. I finished my basic elementary education from the Baluarte Elementary School, as mentioned by Brother Armin, 
in Walla in Iloilo City, my high school in the UP, in Iloilo College, and my Bachelor of Arts and Law degree from the University of the Philippines. Therefore, whatever I have achieved in my life, I owe it to my teachers who have patiently mentored and inspired me to devote my life in the service of other people. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga guro and you, my dear teachers, are my heroes in my life. Because the withstanding your fight and the main difficulties you face, your commitment to mold our country's youth's future never wavered. Today, we honor our teachers, the selfless and noble men and women who have patiently opened our minds to endless possibilities that this world offers, who have helped us absorb the vast ideas and facts and equipped us with the knowledge and skills that enable us to tackle the challenges that we encounter in our journey of life. Therefore, the, the, the World Teachers Day is a celebration, is a collective expression of our deepest appreciation to our teachers' outstanding service and education. And today, we saw three of the models of how difficult it is that despite the seemingly insurmountable obstacles that they face in performing their jobs. They never tire to give their hearts and souls for the profession, for the oldest and noblest profession. We have here this morning, we saw Randy Halas, the public school teacher from the Bob City, who to get to the Pigaloma elementary school where he teaches, he travels two hours by bus one hour by Hubble Hubble, and then walks for another four hours. We, we heard Jesus in Salada, whose greatest decision in his life was to join the noblest profession, the teaching profession, rather than become a lawyer like me. A very good decision that he made in his life. And of course, Elsie Paternal, who indeed I have my admiration for overcoming all the obstacles in her life to become what she is today. Indeed, <coughs> indeed, there are countless teachers here in this world, like Randy Harasan, Elsie Paternal, and Jesus Insalada, whose life and work are worthy of in 1991, I had the privilege of serving as chair of the Board of Judges of the Metro Bank's Search for Outstanding Teachers, which is now being run by my good friend here, Chico Sumapai. <coughs> it was a humbling experience for me. I was inspired by the teachers' stories of sacrifice, heroism, and everyday acts of kindness. But what is most admirable is the fact that teachers are giving the best service possible, even if they are the one of the lowest paid professional workers in our country today. And, ladies and gentlemen, by way of my recognition of my debt of gratitude to the public school system, Ten years ago, I embarked on a school building program which funded the construction of over 1,600 classrooms all over the Philippines under the Barney School Program of the Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. <coughs> Not only that, these school buildings were constructed at half the cost of what other 
government, contra government contractors would charge the government for a similarly built tax code. I allocated for the past 10 years before the Supreme Court said that you can no longer allocate funds. I allocated 250 million pesos to the, to the building of these classrooms all over the country. And here in Region 6, 7, and 8, about 500 of these classrooms were constructed over the last 10 years. Also, in the 2015 national budget, as mentioned by Secretary Luisto, the Department of Education is getting the highest allocation at 365 billion pesos, an increase of nearly 20% over last year, and the highest budget, education budget in the history of our country. For his concern for our education. This budget will fund the construction of over 31,000 classrooms in the country and repair over 9,500 dilapidated ones. 70 million textbooks and instructional materials will also be purchased and almost 10 billion pesos will fund the hiring of more than 39,000 public school teachers and 1,500 non-teaching positions next year. You know, with the salaries of the, the salaries of education, Marami po, padamo sa mga taga private universities gusto na mag public school teacher. And that there and we will support continuously our education budget. However, we must not only focus on the physical aspect, like building good classrooms and school facilities, we must also allocate resources for the appropriate training programs of our teachers. It is vital that our, teach our schools are manned by competent, dedicated, and motivated teachers. Hence, providing them with opportunities to improve their craft is a good investment for our children's future. Constant training will help them in teaching their students on how to process information and informed choices. At the Senate, we are working on measures that will improve the quality of our teachers by increasing their take home pay. Wag mo na kayo magpapak at kailangan i-clear ko pa yan sa Department of Budget. But, but, there are certain bills which I know will benefit you. For example, we are working on a bill which will lower the income tax rate of all teachers. And hopefully, by December of this year, when you receive your second mandate, we will be able to increase the ceiling from 30,000 to 70,000 pesos.
system. A few years back, I joined the Gilas project of the Ayala Foundation, wherein I allocated 10 million pesos, 4 million of which went to the various schools here in Negros Occidental in order that we can provide access to internet students in all of the 6,700 public high schools and principals. In fact, we launched the program here in the E.B. Magalona High School here in Negros Occidental. In the Senate today, we also passed before we went for recess what we call the Ispola Langbayan Act, where all the top 10 high school students graduating in March will be given a free scholarship in all the state universities and colleges. We expect the President to sign this into law this month at Yanko Bakakatulo. It will help our bright students whose future is being molded by you, my dear teachers. My dear teachers, the celebration of the World Teachers Day today is an occasion of solidarity among individuals, groups, and organizations in the country that has been supporting our teachers. This day will not end without our recognition of the hardworking and dynamic people who constantly promote the welfare of, the, of our teachers. Let me take this opportunity to thank Education Secretary Armindo Istro for his tireless effort to improve the lot of our teachers who can be, who can provide a better future for our country. Maraming salamat po, Brother Istro. At maraming salamat kay Chito Subrepeña of the Metrobank Foundation for co-chairing the National Teachers Club coordinating council and putting together an exciting month-long celebration of our World Teachers Day. My dear teachers, let me close by emphasizing that every single day you are presented at big opportunities to influence the young minds of our country in a positive way. Do not underestimate your capability of making a difference in their life and in your community. You play an important role in molding our young minds, develop morally upright and critical thinking individuals, encouraging them to improve themselves and become the best that they can be. You have a profound influence on the lives of our students. Let us continue to do our share in nation building so that in the future, when we see a more progressive Philippines, a more productive Filipino people, we can all say if we have achieved our dreams as a nation, it is because we all did our share. Let me therefore leave you with the words of William Arthur Ward. Let me go. The big teacher teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher inspires. With that, let me once more thank all of you for this opportunity to celebrate with you the World Teachers Day. Bravo, Salamat, and Bravo, Salamat.